Well, you saw more than 100 windows in 60 seconds. So here's a window problem. It concerns a friend of mine who lives in a castle and he has a very large window. It's two metres square in one wall of one room. But he's a little bit worried about it because he says it lets too much light in. He's asked me if I would brick it up so that it allows just half the amount of light in. I said, oh, I could brick up the left half. No, he wasn't happy with that. I said, the bottom half. Oh, no, he said, I always like square windows, so you must end up with a square window which is just half the area. Can you think of a way of bricking it up? Well, you said, uh, I'll brick it halfway across, then halfway up, and I'll end up with a square. You might have said that. And you might have ended up with a window that looked like this. Bricked up, bricked up, bricked up, all the way up there, across there. And uh, so you'd certainly end up with a small square window, but it's not a half of the original area, it's a half of a half, or just a quarter. Well, that's not the correct answer, but maybe it gives you a clue about the correct answer. You see, that window can be made up of four imaginary quarters. And you could divide each one in halves with a small triangle in the corner. So we'll take that away now. So we've already done that, that corner, and then we'll do the bottom corner here, and we can do the same over here. Each time we're dividing those imaginary quarters in halves. So now we've ended up with a window which is exactly half the area of the original. But you might say it's not a square, it's a diamond. What do you think a diamond is? If you look at it from the side, it's a perfect square. And so uh, even though it may not look square when you look at it first, just tilt your head on your side and you'll see why my friend was happy with that solution. Well, that's one window problem, but I have another friend who has an entirely different window problem. His name happens to be Les. You guessed it, he likes L-shaped windows. And his problem is that he needs more light in this particular room. In fact, he would like to have four times as much light, but he wants the final window to still be L-shaped. Now, can you think of a way of putting four small, small L's into one large L? It can be done. Well, he wants it to be exactly the same size and shape as the original one. It looks a difficult problem, but uh, maybe you got this far. If you did, you're very close, because you can see that all you need to do is to drop that centerpiece in there. You need to be very good at lead lighting, and you end up with a window that's the same shaped L as the original one, and it's one, two, three, four times the area. Well, you had two window problems. How many did you see through?